from Oshwigan, Six Nations, Ontario, Canada. That's about an hour west of Niagara Falls. And I'm a Cuga Nation Bear Clan. Uh, I've been coming to this festival for 37 years. So from that war dance, uh, we do uh, social dances. So those dances we do for fun or get together. So after, for example, a wedding ceremony, uh, we would have like a social and uh, all the guests and everyone would participate and, uh, and do all these dances. a yoke, a choker, um, we have cuffs and as well as um, the leggings and skirt and then we usually use an overdress um, underneath it all. It's really your preference right how much you want to dress, dress it up and stuff. I have a yoke on, um, it's more modern, it's um, you could say kind of more flashy uh, than, than the old style. Iroquoian dress. It's, it's floral uh, designs and it's raised beadwork. Some people like to sew the florals onto a separate backing and then put them on the yoke. Uh, some people like to bead right on the, ba the back part of it. Oh, my favorite color is pink so I use uh, I have a lot of pink in my beadwork as well as um, I do travel year round for two different powwows and stuff for competition so um, I like it to be kind of flashy and blingy. I do generally like blingy anyway so <laughs> um, but yeah and then my overdress I, I love roses so today I, I'm wearing my rose dress. So he flew ahead of all of the rest, and he came down to the surface of the water. And there he found a great snapping turtle. So my name is Perry and Ground. Said, I am a Turtle Clan member of the Onondaga Nation. Until along came a little small end. Maybe only about this big. A little long end. Been telling cool. stories for about 25 years now, maybe a little bit longer. So my regalia is traditional Haudenosaunee regalia. Uh, other tribes wear different things, but this is what we wear. A lot of people know Native Americans for beadwork, and this is something that we started doing when the Europeans introduced these glass beads. Before that, shells and stones and quills, but now you could get beads of different colors, but they were also all the same size or shape, so they were much easier to sew together metal needles and string get introduced and now you see people making all kinds of beautiful beadwork with symbols that come from who we are turtle from the creation story or it's also a symbol for my family my clan that i have up here on my uh, gustoa on my headdress my gustoa or headdress is uh, a little bit flashier than most people's a lot of people use turkey or quail or pheasant feathers i got the white goose feathers on mine uh, and then I also have the two big eagle feathers that tell people I come from Onondaga. Each uh, of our nations has a different figure confederation, so you can always tell where a man is from. That's very important, I think, that we remember that, you know, as Haudenosaunee people, as native people today, we are 21st century people. We have our cell phones, our houses are just like everyone else. I drive from place to place in my car a lot, telling my stories. But um, we are not some storybook character come to life. We didn't step off the pages of a history book or are just on exhibit at a museum. We are real human beings and have all the same things that all other human beings have, the same thoughts and feelings and struggles and joys. Um, but these things that we have and that we continue to practice, the beadwork or the clothing or the stories that we tell, they still have meaning to us today. They've been an important part of who we are forever. And as much as we can watch television or enjoy the internet like everyone else, we enjoy these things also. And we love to teach about them. We love to share them with other people. And that's why we continue to practice them.